Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very interesting problem. This is also an original problem and very recently I have framed it to be precise yesterday night and uh, let's uh, discuss the statement of uh, this problem. There is a system of three identical rollers which are mounted symmetrically inside a hollow cylinder of mass M0 and radius R0. A very thin uniform conveyor belt having uniform mass density K0 is passing over all the rollers as shown. The mass of each roller is M0 and radius is R0. The rollers are in the shape of solid cylinders and they are touching the hollow, uh, hollow cylinder. Assume there is no slipping anywhere and the axis of cylinder and rollers are fixed. The cylinder is rotating with a constant angular velocity of omega naught. What is the kinetic energy of the system? So this is uh, given here. Outer cylinder is rotating with the angular velocity of omega naught and since there is no slipping, the inner solid uh, rollers also, solid cylinders, they will also rotate and along with them this belt also is going to rotate okay so we have to find total kinetic energy of uh, this system so here is the concept if there are two surfaces which are in uh, contact with each other or touching each other and if there is no slipping then velocity of contact point p1 and p2 each point is lying on uh, each other surface so in that case i can say velocity of p1 and velocity of p2 must be same if there is no slipping so here vp1 is equal to vp2 and total kinetic energy of this system i can write kinetic energy of cylinder plus kinetic energy of roller plus kinetic energy of belt so let's discuss one by one so as this uh, outer cylinder is uh, rotating and all the axes are fixed fi axis of this uh, outer cylinder is fixed rollers are also having fixed axis all right and this is the belt conveyor belt which is present on these three uh, rollers so as this outer cylinder is going to rotate with the constant angular velocity of uh, omega naught see what is going to happen there is friction between the belt and rollers and the outer cylinder so as a roller will uh, uh, as the cylinder will rotate and there is no slipping this point of the roller also is going to move so suppose a roller is getting angular velocity of omega naught so velocity of this contact point of the roller is going to be small r omega 1 and that should be equal to capital r omega naught if we equate we get the angular velocity of each roller so now uh, let's do the calculation of uh, kinetic energy of uh, cylinder so it's very simple half i axis omega naught square because cylinder is in pure rotation about the given axis so since it is a hollow cylinder i can write its moment of inertia as capital m r square so this k cylinder will be half capital m r square omega naught square similarly i can write kinetic energy of uh, rollers so there are three rollers three times kinetic energy of any one roller so that is going to be half i of the roller moment of inertia of the roller and its angular velocity omega one whole square so I can substitute the value of this I roller since it is a solid cylinder I can write it as mr square by 2 small mr square by 2 and this omega 1 is going to be omega naught capital R by small r whole square of it and uh, 3 times of it. So when I simplify I get 3 by 4 small mr square omega naught square. So this is the kinetic energy of rollers all the rollers combined. Now finally I am going to calculate this uh, kinetic energy of the belt so I can simply write it as half mass of the belt into velocity of belt whole square. So where uh, velocity of belt is capital R omega naught or small r omega 1 for no slipping and this mass of the belt is k times lb where k is mass per unit length and lb is the length of the belt. Now by using geometry we need to find out the length of this uh, belt. So as you can see here, this length I am assuming as L, which is the length of this uh, triangle also, which is equilateral. So this length plus this length plus this length plus this length plus this length and this length. So if somehow I can find this length L and this is known to me that is uh, 2 pi by 3 times r 
because it is arc subtending angle of uh, 2 pi by 3 by symmetry you can see so l plus 2 pi r by 3 and 3 times of it is going to be the answer for the length of the belt all right so here you can see this red color uh, equilateral triangle all right and this length is going to be capital r plus this length is going to be capital r uh, capital r which is the mass of the uh, radius of the cylinder and here this is small r so this length x this length x i can write as x plus r is equal to capital r and another equation i can use this length is going to be l by 2 so here i can write x sine pi by 3 is equal to l by 2 so if i do the simple calculation now i'm going to get this uh, capital l is equal to root 3 times capital r minus small r all right now once i know this length l i can easily write length of the belt is going to be 3 times of this length plus this curved part length 3 times of it so 3l plus 3 times r theta theta is 2 pi by 3 so when i simplify i get uh, this length and now kinetic energy of belt i can write half k times uh, length of belt which is mass of belt times r omega naught whole square when i substitute value i get this expression so total energy now i can write easily k system is going to be kinetic energy of outer cylinder plus kinetic energy of all the rollers combined plus kinetic energy of belt i'm not reading it out i think you can see so question is very simple very easy and perfect candidate for uh, je advanced type of exam so this is it if you have uh, enjoyed this solution and uh, enjoyed this question please leave a like share uh, with uh, your teachers and friends please also give suggestions in comment section how to further improve this channel and uh, i'll be coming up very soon with another uh, amazing video till then bye bye thank you thank you for watching this video